Hey everyone, welcome back to 9to5 Linux, where we dive into the latest in open source tech and Linux distributions. Today, I am excited to talk about the brand new Linux Mint 22.3, codenamed Sina. This update just dropped, and it's packed with some solid improvements that make it even more user friendly for beginners and pros alike. If you're already running Linux Mint or thinking about switching to a stable, easy to use distro. Stick around. I'll break down what's new, why it matters, and how you can get it. First off, a quick refresher. Linux Mint is a popular Linux distribution based on Ubuntu. Known for its simplicity, stability, and out-of-the-box usability. It's great for everyday tasks like browsing, office work, even light gaming. Version 22.3 is part of the long-term support series, meaning it will get updates and security patches until 2029. It's built on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS and comes with the Linux kernel 6.14, which means better hardware compatibility. Think improved support for newer GPUs, Wi-Fi cards, and processors from brands like AMD and Intel. The star of this release is the Cinnamon Desktop Environment, now at version 6.6. .6. If you are using the Cinnamon Edition, you will notice a refreshed application menu right away. It's got a cleaner layout with symbolic icons for categories. These are simple, monochrome designs that look sharp in both light and dark themes and scale well on different screen sizes. Plus, there are tweaks to keyboard handling for better VLAN support, an upgraded on-screen keyboard, and enhanced theme options. Little things like visible hot corners in full-screen mode, and new battery management actions, including suspend when critically low, make the whole experience feel more polished. But it's not just about Cinnamon. Linux Mint 22.3 introduces two handy new tools, the System Information app and the system administration tool. The system information one is basically an expanded version of the old system reports. It now shows detailed specs on your hardware, like USB devices, GPUs, BIOS info, and even helps troubleshoot common issues with dedicated pages for crash reports and system logs. The system administration tool lets you tweak things like boot menu settings and kernel parameters in a safe graphical way without diving into the command line. Other apps got some love too. The Nemo file manager now lets you pause and resume large file operations, which is super useful if you're copying big folders and need to free up resources temporarily. Time shift, the backup tool, adds the ability to pause snapshots mid-process. Web nature for sharing files between devices. Supports IPv6 for better network compatibility and even lets you send quick text messages. Hypnotix, the IPTV player, can hide the mouse cursor in full screen and pass keyboard inputs directly to the video player. And for the backups, the Mint backup tool has a new include all button to easily add hidden files and folders. There's also an always on nightlight feature to reduce eye strain with warmer screen tones for app notification indicators in the panel and updates to the update manager. It now shows a warning icon if a reboot is needed after patches. On the security side, it pulls in all the latest fixes from Ubuntu's repositories. One important note, ZFS file system support was dropped from the installer due to low usage and maintenance overhead. But if you need it, you can add it manually post-install. If you are on the Linux Mint 22.2 Sera or earlier in the 22 series, upgrading is straightforward. Just open the update manager, make sure your system is fully updated, back up your important files, then go to edit, upgrade to Linux Mint 22.3 Sena. It should handle everything smoothly. For fresh installs, head over to the official Linux Mint website, which is linuxmint.com, and grab the ISOs for Cinnamon, XFCE, or Matte editions. They are available on mirrors worldwide. And remember to verify the download with the provided checksums for safety. Overall, 
Linux Mint 22.3 isn't a massive overhaul, but these refinements really enhance the day-to-day -day workflow. It's reliable, beginner-friendly, and keeps getting better without unnecessary bloat. If you're new to Linux, this is a fantastic starting point. So, what do you think? Planning to upgrade? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Hit that like button if this helped. And subscribe for more Linux tips and reviews. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.